The government recently signed a deal with Uganda Vinci Coffee Company Limited to establish a coffee processing plant at Namamve Industrial Park. This deal, which ends in 2032, gave this company exclusive rights to buy all of Uganda's coffee. It was also exempted from paying taxes, including income tax, pay as you earn, excise duty, stamp duty, VAT, import duty and corporate income tax. This has since become a point of concern for many, especially those in the coffee business who have termed it a monopoly on Uganda's coffee, which will not benefit the country and is exploitative. It is upon this background that officials from the Ministry of Finance have come out today to throw more light on the deal. The Finance Ministry's Permanent Secretary, Ramadan Gobi, says the deal was signed following due diligence and feasibility studies. He has given assurance that the contracted company will develop a coffee processing plant which will add value to coffee and export it globally. Uganda Vinci will be responsible for financing the project and marketing its finished coffee products to now the $40 billion export market in Europe and the Middle East, which hitherto have not been penetrated. We don't, as a country, sell value-added coffee to this market. So there's going to be, first of all, a provision of market to value added coffee. And this is going to benefit the Ugandan coffee farmer. He further noted that the agreement will support the government in the realization of its coffee production target from the current 7 million bags per year to 20 million bags by 2030. The agreement which was signed is going to create addition of value on 60,000 tons of coffee a year at full capacity, starting with 27,000 metric tons in the first year. In Uganda, currently, we are producing a total of 420,000 metric tons of coffee, or about 7 million bags. I've heard people saying you are creating a monopoly. How can a monopoly be created when this plant is going to utilize only 6.4% of Uganda's coffee production at the year of start and at the peak, even if we don't increase coffee production at all. Gobi also refuted claims that the agreement is going to create monopoly, stressing that the government does not sign laws which create monopoly. The Italian company will invest in marketing the country's finished coffee to Europe and the Middle East where it had not yet penetrated. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.